know who I am. You know, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. And that's how we get in life so much, a lot of us, because we get so busy and we get distracted with just everyday life. We forget who our Father is. And, and you know, when we seek His face and we get into the Word of God, He reveals things to us. I remember I told Mike, it's in Romans 1. I was doing a devotion one day at the center. And it was the most awesome thing because it was Romans chapter verse 5, Romans 1. And it says, Through him we have received grace and apostleship for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name, among whom you also are called of Jesus Christ. And whenever I was reading that, why it was so profound was whenever I got to that, it was like Jesus was reading it to me. You know, he was saying, you are called of Jesus Christ. And it's, you know, Paul says I'm the chiefest of sinners and, and he, he was killing a lot of Christians and stuff. I feel the same way. I'm sure a lot of us feel the same way. Our, our past and, and the way we live and is like how in the world, you know, hell is what I deserve, you know, but God loves us so much and he's yes, so gracious thank you, Lord. that he delivers us. And not only does he deliver us, but <laughs> I thank Christ Jesus our Lord who has enabled me because he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. Although I was formerly a blasphemer, a persecutor, and an insolent man, I obtained mercy because I did not, I did it ignorantly in unbelief. So, I was an idiot before, <laughs> you know, I, I did things ignorantly, you know, I, I did them as the world saw them, you know, and I just, a few weeks ago, I was laying at the center, I was getting ready to graduate, and I knew that the Lord had called me to minister and to, and to work with men and show them, you know, hey, you can live, you don't have to live in that life no more. That's right. You know, you Amen. quit killing yourself. Thank you, Lord. You know, there's so much more. It may, it may not seem like it, you know, but there's so much more. And I, but I said, God, anybody that knows me, you know, how can I get up there and tell people about you and everything else? Because I don't have a car. I don't have a license. I don't have a home. I don't have a bank account. I don't know if I can get one. You know, I... I most of, my, most of what I have, I can carry it on my back or in a couple bags. So how can I tell people about the Lord and how good he is and, and what all he'll do for him <laughs> and everything else? And, you know, he just spoke to my heart. He said, John, if you could only see what you're clothed in. You know, and yeah. he brought the verses. That, you know, we, we have heavenly, we're kings and priests in Christ Jesus. And, Thank and you. we have crowns and, and we have robes. You know, and every, everything of battle that we go to for... For Christ Jesus' armor, we put it on. And we put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. And we just, everything with Christ daily, we put it on. And so it's like, I'm throwing jewels out there off this garment. You know, and, you know, I'm, I'm giving life to these people. Yes, and it's, thank you, Lord. It's a, he spoke to me one night in prayer about, you know, I clothe you. I'm like a fine garment, and I clothe you from the inside out. Don't ever put me down and lose me or forget about me because I can be lost. But you have to keep me on. And and so, you know, that's how God works in our lives. Yes. When, when we surrender to him and, and we start putting things down, he starts building us up on the inside. It's not an sure. outside thing. I mean, it, it manifests into the outside, but all his gifts and everything, they come to us first and change us. And then when he sees that we're good and faithful servants, in that, you know, if you're faithful and little, I'll give you much. You know, and much, too much given is much required. So whenever we start, whenever we start living for the Lord and, and, and doing things and just being obedient to Him, then He starts manifesting in us because I had a dream. And I saw this, and we were at the center, and we were all called to these classrooms. So we go to these classrooms, and we can't get in, and we're all looking through the windows, and we're like, what's in there? There's nothing in there here. And we go in, and there's two long hallways with potter wheels all up and down, and everybody's like, I ain't interested in this, and, and most of them left. And I start 
going up and down these halls looking at these things. And I was talking to Mike about it. And what I thought was cool, how the Lord spoke to me, I saw this mug, but it had been made sideways. But it was beautiful. It was, I mean, a king would just adore it being in his palace. You know, it was beautiful. And I was like, I want that. You know, and the Lord said, you don't want that. I said, well, look at it. It's beautiful. Why wouldn't he said, when you take that off that wheel, anything you put into that vessel is going to spill out because it's an incomplete vessel. It only had three sides to it, and it would spill out and be wasted. It's useless. You know, and I, he said, set it, the, set it the wheel. And I said, I don't know what I'm doing, but I can't sit there. And he said, good. Now I can use you. <laughs> and that's where Mike was, you know, he said, that's what I like. But it, it's true. we got to totally surrender. You know, once we realize that we don't know what we're doing, and every time I put my hand to something on my own and try to do things on my own, I mess it up because if I'm not following Jesus and yes. I'm not living for him and doing his will, I'm, I'm living for Satan in the world and, and I'm doing what they, who we lend our members to, that's who we obey. Yes. You know, so I think I have one more verse or scripture and I am done. Good. Yet indeed, I also count all things lost for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things that count them as rubbish that I may gain Christ, and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being conformed to his death. I just, that's where I am today. And I, I, I it is so much of a better life. Um, I'm excited how God's going to use me. I get ahead of myself, but I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm depending on everybody else. So I, I hope I wasn't preaching to the choir tonight because oh, I know everybody word. in here loves the Lord. Hallelujah. And stuff, but Keep the faith, you know, when things get rough and, and you just feel like you don't know how you're going to make it, just stand. We serve a big God. Yes. You know, and if you think you can't overcome something, you're saying, God, you're just not enough. And we all know he's more than enough. Yes, he is. You know, and he, he took on everything for us so we could, you know, he overcame so we could overcome. Amen. And. I just love him and I thank him because I don't really deserve, I don't feel like I deserve anything he's done for me. I, I, I was to the point in my life to where I was going to hell and I was content with it. I thought I'm already separated from God, so what else? You know, I'm getting what I deserve. But he just, he has so much more grace for me. Amen. And, thank and you, Lord. He showed his mercy to me and he delivered me. And he set me free, and <laughs> I'm just thankful for it. Thank Glory. You. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. You had a mama and a church that prayed for you. That's right. 22.5, 22.6, Proverbs. <laughs> Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Hallelujah. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. God's Powerful good. young man. Thank you, Father. Good message. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God's good, isn't it? Yes, All the time. time. Anybody need prayer? Praise Anybody God. here need prayer? Any prayer requests? I... Yes. You need prayer? Yeah, I do. Come up here. Get this taken care of before it gets any work. Well, I got something going on with my finger uh, the last couple of days, and it, it's, it feels like I handled it my tendon and <coughs> it's getting caught up when I move it. That's and it really hurts. There you go. Father God, just touch my wife's hand, yes, Father. Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you glory and praise. Father, your word says these signs of all them to speak. 
They shall lay their hands on the sick and they shall recover. So, Father, we just stand in the gap for her right now. Behold, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. We receive your healing virtue right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Better than new. Better than new. Hallelujah. You created this body and you can restore it. Mighty Jesus' name. Mighty Jesus' name. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Steve, really? Glory. Steve come here. Ooh, glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Um, he told me you're going in for cataract surgery. Yeah. We're going to believe God. 